guys, welcome to The Taboo Table. My name's Jess. I'm Lola B, aka Lola. I'm an artist, a designer, and a mother of one. And I'm an entrepreneur, a voiceover artist, and one half of The Taboo Table. The okay. Taboo Table is a safe space that will touch on everything and more when it comes to Black diaspora and experiences. The Taboo Table is an invitation to basically pull up a seat and to really start having these important, sensitive, crucial conversations within your own family dynamics. We want to touch on everything that relates to real life issues. The main taboo that I sort of deal with day to day um, is my chronic illness. My own personal taboos I've had to deal with have definitely been in relation to my health, my chronic health. In the past I've dealt with depression, I've dealt with postnatal um, depression especially after having my son. I've only felt comfortable enough to discuss it and be open about that. I've also dealt with relationship taboos and family taboos. And probably a lot of things that a lot of people go through on a daily basis. I'm doing this because I feel like my younger self needs it. Growing up, I didn't really witness a space that encouraged open and honest conversation. There was never a safe space within my own family unit when I was growing up to share the things that I was going through. I didn't see people having discussions that directly affected my everyday life. Had I had someone then, it would have saved me from so much of the upset and the, you know, reparenting that I'm having to do for myself now. I just want to encourage people to untaboo topics, to talk about topics that are they think are taboo. You know, if you're talking about it, it's not taboo. Even as I look around now, there's still not really a safe place for people to you know, feel comfortable enough to have these discussions. I'm finally in a stable place to be able to share what I've been through and um, hopefully be able to help others. We're going to be talking about everything that's um, on your mind and in your heart, but for one reason or the other has never left your lips. People should work because we're entertaining, of course. Yeah. But not only that, it's because it's therapeutic banter. You know, where else can you go to talking about chronic illnesses to shooting shots gone wrong? I can't lie, a lot of tables will be shaken. Um, I personally don't know what friends or family are still gonna talk to me after this, but what I do know is that I'm gonna be able to finally speak my truth, um, no matter how <laughs> ugly or beautiful that is. I know that it will eventually help a lot of people in my position.